Today I'm staying in an Airbnb that has a real hot spring. I'm in a hot spring right now. Let's go. I'm going to be staying in Aquarius in Waterberg, South Africa, and my plan is to document my stay here. I'll give you a tour of the bungalow. Yeah. Show you the food I made and everything else Aquarius has to offer. Let's go. Welcome to the exotic hot spring bungalow at Aquarius. Before I show you around the bungalow, let me say some information about this place. The exotic hot spring bungalow is located on a 25 hectare property in Waterberg, South Africa. It is just a two hour drive from Joburg. So if you're looking to stay in a cool Airbnb close to Joburg, this is the spot for you. If you want to stay here, I'll leave a link to their website down in the description below. So let's get into the tour. If you go the route I came, you'll drive on the sand road for at least 50 kilometers. Or at least it felt like that. It was so bad that I actually landed up getting a puncture. Luckily, the maintenance guy here, Pitt, told me that when I arrived. And he helped me fix it. So thank you for helping me fix it, Pitt. It was a big mission. But now that my tie is fixed, let's go check out the bungalow. Something cool. This Airbnb is called the Exotic Hot Spring Bungalow. Because there's actually a real life hot spring here. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a pool, but they put hot water in to make it as if it is a hot spring. Really cool. I love that. Different, you know? I'm excited to test that out in a little bit. When you first walk inside, the first thing that I noticed was that the one wall is non-existent. Wow. That's cool. It's unique. It lets in fresh air. It gives the room a way more open feel. I like it. Up first is the kitchen. There is a countertop on this side with a sink, stove, microwave, all the equipment you need to make whatever you want. On the other side of the kitchen, which is against the open wall, there is like like a bar table and two chairs which you can sit at and eat your meals while enjoying this beautiful view. I'm not eating a meal right now but wow this view is spectacular. On this side of the room there is this day bed that you can either sleep on for a nap or you can actually sleep here for the night if you'd like. You know obviously we gotta test it out. Oh. Yo, not too bad actually. Quite comfortable, yeah. Not gonna lie, and a great view as well from the bed. If we make our way to the other side of the room, you'll see that there is in the corner a fire hydrant with a light in case there's load shedding, which there is the night, so I will be using that. There's this cool stand with a pot plant, it's really nice. And there's a countertop with some wine and some glasses and a mirror on the wall. There's prices on the table here for the wine, so you are actually able to purchase some. It's not complimentary, just be aware. <laughs> I'm not about to be drinking a bottle of wine by myself, so uh, I'm gonna have to say no. <laughs> Next to that, you will see this wooden door to the bathroom. It is a bright white bathroom, which looks very clean. In this bathroom, there is a toilet, which is very nice. A single basin vanity, and this basin is made of wood. And there are two windows, letting in some beautiful light. There isn't actually a bath or shower in here. You have to go outside to go to the shower. This is the outside shower. The outside shower is to the right of the bungalow, and it's a pretty unique shower. Now shower, back inside. You're probably wondering where the bedroom is and I'm about to show you. Behind me, there is this ladder to go upstairs. But before we do, behind the ladder, there is a med kit. There is a first aid kit. I'm thinking a Fortnite med kit. <laughs> and some yoga mats in case you want to do some morning sunrise or sunset yoga. There is a sign that says, use as a ladder, not as stairs. Be careful it is steep. Do not fall, please. Upstairs, there is the bedroom. It is an elevated loft with a queen-size bed. This bed up top is also really comfortable, by the way. That is everything inside the bungalow. Let's go outside to see what else the bungalow offers. Outside here, there is a patio area with a hot spring. There's also a table with four chairs, which I'm currently sitting at. It's really nice. You can enjoy a view of the bungalow and a view of the river on your right. There is a bra area where you can bra your food. <laughs> Over here, there's also a deck area where you can stand. Maybe fish. I don't know if there's fish in this water. Or just enjoy the view. I'm going to test out the hot spring. Oh, it's warm, man. It's proper warm. Like what? It is deep in here. This is fantastic though. Wow, what a spot. I'm in a hot spring right now. Let's go. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Brad. It's not on the menu. It's spaghetti bolognese. Oh, we got some bolognese. Whatever you prefer, but it's mince and spaghetti. Let's get on it. Where the plates are. So we need this. This isn't turning on. It's not plugged in. <laughs> How the hell do I get this to it? This is the most confusing stove I've ever used in my life. Oh, uh, we're having some technical issues. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I think I figured it out. Wait, maybe not. Yeah? Okay, I think I got it. A little bit of oil in here. This is what the bolognese is looking like. Let's put on the stove. Yo, this is heating up quickly. Okay, we in business. We in business. Yeah, that sizzle. Woo, let's go. While this is heating up, I've got some vegetable samosas for starter. Why not? I forgot I had them. Nice surprise as well. Mmm. I don't like some bolognese. Making bolognese. Mm. It's looking good, so I'm gonna eat this now and then I'm gonna head to bed. So I will see you guys in the morning. 
Good night. Good morning. It is beautiful here this morning. Blue skies. Birds are chirping. The water is not really flowing. <laughs> it looks nice though. <laughs> it seems like I've come to the end of my trip at Aquarius's exotic hot spring bungalow. And wow, what a time it's been. I've really enjoyed my stay here. Yeah. Making my way back down to the camera. Walking slow because I'm tired. Some African... Uh... That was me dealing with the wasp inside. It's gone. 